Well, hello friends, how's it going? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, the British campaign. The next battle is Battle of Cape, Cape St. Vincent. Uh, we get 151,000, we got 3 perk points, 56 rep, and we can say fight the power and get another 30,000. So let's go ahead and do that because we are playing with Skilland. And let's see, I got a uh, one, two, three, four first rate ships. So I'm hoping that these guys will be in the um the right lane, I guess. Like they're gonna give us two lines, I think. So yeah, and then I have the second rate ships. And we have the fire ships, two of them. Okay, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skip all this, pause, and as you can see right here, I'm gonna show you this that the wind is this way. And if I click on this ship, he's going at 0 .09. 0 .09 negative. So that is ridiculous. Now, what I think we're going to do, and they want us to come over here and go in between these guys so we can shoot on both sides. But we just can't get over there. And then what these little buggers are going to do, uh, they're going to turn and come this way with the wind and come behind my fleet. And, it, and, and it's going to be hard for me to turn the ship to go this way. I'm just giving you this this kind of like brief and um and and and, and like i said uh, i'm going to tell you that I, I don't i don't like this at all like i'm just saying um and 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 i think that the, the only thing best thing that i could possibly do is to stop and, and just go like this in place because um and just have these guys on a slight angle and it's going to be like a defensive uh thing and i got one more right here and then that means i need maybe yeah, I need maybe these two ships um, to stay right here. Because if they come behind this, then these guys will be able to shoot at them too. Because um, we're not going anywhere. I mean, this is just plain... Now, the only thing I can do with these guys, because these guys are going to be totally ineffective... Because, you know, we cannot go this way. I mean, you know, but we might be able to go this way. So these two fire ships are going to be what's going to be for the oncoming second fleet that's going to attack. So I'll spend these guys over there and I'll just worry about fighting this group with the remaining ships. So now, so my last two first rates will be somewhere over here. And these guys, I, I don't know if I should have this guy go just a little bit over here to, to maybe I can turn him like that and have this one um, come, come over here and then he'll turn. Hopefully this one, matter of fact, this one needs to turn right like this. Because if if I go out here, I know they come out this way against me. But I'm thinking the strategy should be to just stop. Because, you know what I mean? They get behind you and it is it is totally ridiculous. So that is the plan. Let's go ahead and... I just don't want my ships to collide. And matter of fact, if 
if I can have these guys in between wherever these guys will be, they might be able to shoot through that. Like, I don't... I'm thinking... Yeah, matter of fact, you just go like that. And you just go... Like, it's going to be hard to gauge this on what I really should do. But I'm thinking if I put this guy here, he might be able to shoot through here. Like, I, if I can make two lines. I mean, because look at this. Two, two knots. I mean, this ship should be able to do, like, 12. You know what I mean? Like, I have the... I always go with speed perks. That adds at least two to three... Um, you know, um, not speed or whatever, not uh, to, to whatever this ship can. Like, this ship can only do nine, say, and I give him a speed perk. I can bump him up to 12, you know? So, yeah, he's got to get over here. And I, I hope I put an anchor on you, my friend. I don't want you... Okay, yeah. Now, this is just a... This, again, we don't know... I can go a little fast. We don't know what the... Um, Al, the enemy is going to do because when I went out there, I've, like I tried this like like ten minutes ago, and I oh yeah, and then anchor please. Now you need to get over there. See, and, and if I already get a hurt uh, ship because I wasn't paying attention. All right, so these two are deliberate to be here. My two fire ships, I can hook those together and match him. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm just leaving these two for now because if they do come this way to come around me, um, if I didn't have anybody here, they would come this way and they'd blast the heck out of this one and this one. So, I mean, and then I have to try to turn them this way and it's just, I, I mean, I tried that. And it was, uh, okay, no, you're not, yeah, so they might be making their cut. They might be making their cut, so I gotta, I gotta get the ship to be, oh, no, 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 um, cancel. You need to, you, like, you guys have got to be able to shoot at these guys. Yeah, they didn't come within range. Yeah, they're still going to do that to me. But at least now I have ships in a line that will be able to shoot at them. And I even have these two big guys over here. Like if he, if they if they tried to come this way, you know, like I said, I'll have those like that. All right, so we are engaging. Okay, let's go back to normal speed then. It's unfortunately, I'm not getting any shots with these guys. So like, it's like this, these ships have to do the work. But okay, here comes the first ship over there. So let's go ahead and hit him. You, hey, look at this. He just blew up. Wow. Now, what was he? Was he a fire ship? Oh. Okay, well, like I said, I, I tried this like like 10 minutes ago. Like, like this is my second recording of this. Okay, look, guy. Look, I just want you to... I don't want you to be going anywhere. I just want you to shoot. Yeah, you can shoot at him too now. Yeah, it's excellent. Because, see, this is what I was thinking. If they're going to come down this way, that'll give every one of my ships... And then it demand because they got the win. They have the advantage. And I'm thinking that if they were to get close, this one can shoot this way. Like, I, I'll, t I'll turn him off for now. Just like this guy, I'll turn him off. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know any, you know, like, like I said, I, well, all I can say to you guys, because, you, you know, I talk to you like as if you're actually listening to me, but, you know, like when I play this, I act like as if this is live, but it's not. Um, 
Okay, so now you're going to need to shoot at this one. But you can continue to shoot at that one. And then... Oh, yes, now you can shoot. All right, so you get your shots off. Now, the problem with these uh, these uh, second-rate ships, I do not have uh, repair kits on them. Because I didn't want to waste the money for them. Like, I only got them on my first-rate ships, and then any ships that are better than the first-rates will get them. Like, these guys... Because these guys, I will... In, in other battles, I will turn, like, this ship into a fire ship. Because the ne I think one of the next battles, I need to have this class of a ship in order to do what I want to do. So, and that's why I don't want to waste money and put um, things up. Yeah, so if they're, if they're going to do this, then, you know, I'm okay with it. Yeah, you might as well... You might as well turn a little bit more so you can get better shooting at him. Yeah, you know, like, turn this way. It's unfortunate I got these guys in a position where they can't shoot. I mean, I, I, and I can't, you, I can't go that way. Yeah, and as you can see, like, these guys, they're only going at, like, five knots, and... I, I might not even be able to use these guys. Maybe not. But anyways, this looks like it's going to be... Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm subject to whatever the AI is going to do against me because I cannot go that way. Even if if I... You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be going at like two knots. Like You know what I mean? It's like, it's totally ridiculous. And And now you can shoot. See, so this is what I was thinking. They want to keep coming this way then that'll give my ships a choices to shoot at them. And, and so he's making his turn now. And so, so maybe I can... Like, I don't know, because if he comes down here, uh, that, these guys are in reserve just in case. Oh, and this ship can now shoot. So this is what their attack is going to be. Now if he if he if he comes uh, like comes in this way maybe I could try to use one of these ships to get him and then that would open these two guys up that they could then shoot. And then get him out of the way by bringing him down this way. I, I'm not... Like I said, uh, this is a whole different strategy right now. Of what I just did, you know, a little while ago. Because, like I said, um, they have made this battle with the wind. Given the AI the wind. Oh yeah, and see, I... Yeah, see, and he, and don't forget, they came down with the wind, and they can turn and come this way. Okay, so now you need to chill out. You need, you can shoot at that ship over there. Because I don't want you hitting my ships. Right here, this ship here. Yeah, like I said, uh, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't know in my, like, when I did this battle, like, years, like, not a year, a year ago or something, I'm not sure. This is the way I did it, but. You know, and like I said, I, I, I don't know, we can just sit here and try to blast them, or I could try to get him and pull him in. That's what he wants. Yeah, like I said, um, this is kind of like, 
Like, I usually like to go and capture ships and stuff. But I'm usually the one with the wind and stuff, or at least half the wind, you know? But this one... Alright, now you need to shoot at that guy because he's shooting at you. I, got, I wish they would come down this way so that way these guys could get involved. Okay, now you need to really hit this ship right here, buddy. You need to open up on him. Alright, so we're boarding this guy right here. Okay, oh, and on top of this, um, I'm going to have to pause for just a minute. Because if this is the way they're going to come in, but I got to worry because, like I said, I need some ships over here to block, but yeah, matter of fact, you could be shooting at him. So go ahead and do that. What about you? Not quite. Alright, so what I wanted to do was look at this here. Oh yeah, and and the wind has suddenly changed some more, which is making this going to be impossible to do now. Oh, uh, maybe I can... Alright, these guys ain't doing me any good, right? So maybe it would be good to send these guys over here. So I'll have to do that. Um, I do not know how I'm going to possibly use a fire ship unless... Um, Unless I tell them to come this way to come and hit these guys over here. I mean, I just brought the fire ship just to have an option. So, yeah, I, I don't know how to do this uh, actually, but... You shoot him. Alright, well, I gotta do something, right? I can't just... Like, this ship here has to be able to take this guy out. If they want to penetrate me that way, and... Somebody surrendered. Who and where? Okay, so let's just drop one unit in it. And tell him to go this way. And he might, this ship might not even make it anyways. It's kind of ridiculous, but. Oh, now he got through. Oh, yes. Okay, so. Yeah. They're not going to have a good time if they, they come against these two ships. But this guy, this guy got past me. Um. Well, I guess I can have you go like this and put your, your guns on and you can shoot him. Yeah, I, and I might not even get to use this fire ship, but we're gonna, I'm gonna do it just because, you know what I mean? It, it's how I downsize ships, you know. Yeah, you're going to have to get over here. And you just stop right there. Come on. I got to at least use one of these, right? Where's the other one? Okay, and then you... You just anchor right there and you shoot at him. Oh, and we got this guy over here. Yeah, see, they are doing all kinds of things, aren't they? 
Oh, man. All right, you should be, you should probably be shooting at that one right there. So now I have to give everybody individual orders. Now you are going to try to come this way. That's about the safest way that you can go. Hey, and now we might be in a position to shoot. So let's go ahead and have this ship go right, right there. And then shoot at this ship. You should already be shooting at that ship. Um... Yeah, and you can be shooting at that one. And you can shoot at that one. Maybe we can take out his rudder. Uh, you're not... Well, yeah, you, you're gonna do that. You, my friend... Hey, yeah! You're in a position to shoot him, so yeah, go ahead and do that. Repair. And then you're also going to be shooting at that little one. Maybe we can blow him up. And you... I, I'm not going to worry about this one at the very moment. We're going to try to see if we can eliminate some of these ships. Because cause if he comes like this, then I can then turn this guy to get him, maybe. There's a lot going on, so I think I need to concentrate on this right here. Yeah, and I, I might not even get to do this. Because he's just... Ha yeah, he's hanging. I can't... Yeah, I can't use the fire ship. So that's a scratch. Unless I turn him this way. Let's let's try. Let's try. Let's try. I gotta actually like tell him to come this way. Come on. Come on, why can't you move? Come on. Alright, shoot him. Repair. Come on. That's it. Come on, you can do it. Uh, the only thing though, if I use my fire ship, it's going to put my ship on fire. So this is a big problem. So I got to get this ship moving. That ship gets get moving. Come on. Get, get out of here. And I have to do this all in hoping that he won't um, waver. All right. No, it, he got mine on fire too. Maybe I can put it out. Let me see. Yep, yeah, he got me on fire. Darn. We might be able to put it out though. That's what I'm hoping. Might be able to put it out.
Yeah, that was uh, that was dangerous. Okay, now why why didn't he get on there? Did he die going on the wrong ship? All right, now you can just get out of here. Oh right, yeah, good. Just as I suspected, uh, using the repair kit, we we put it out. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty chancy there, but I had to take the chance. You know what I mean, like. I have to get some use out of the fire ship. All right, so now we got a battle here. We only need to destroy three ships. And then you could probably end the battle if you wanted to. But you know me, I like to I like to fight it out. So you're going to shoot this guy right here. I got to get back to this. I mean, you, you see how I do have to pause, you know what I mean? You have to be able to to um repair your ships and manage this so um, I know it doesn't make a great video but it's what I do it's, you just see my raw, raw gameplay and I'm not a professional YouTuber never said I was so but anyways I'm just gonna try to evaluate the situation here um, well like I said I think yeah I mean I think with these two ships there then you might uh, be better if you face this way. And is this the ship? Is this the ship that's on fire? Or not? No, no, it's this one over here. Okay, so... And how did he get over here? Well then, um, this is going to be tough, but... Could send this ship over here to get him. Or I send this ship over here to come get him. As a matter of fact, this ship should be sh See all the things that you see when you pause, like, y that you don't even know that's going on in the battle? Like... So, yeah. Um, this is, like, this gets really crazy. Okay, so we got those guys over there. You're trying to get away. You were on fire. You're just going to anchor now and shoot at him. And as soon as you get past, I'll, I'll be able to do something with that ship. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit, because, like I said, there's a lot going on here. Man, there's a lot going on. Yeah, just destroy... I mean, I don't care about if we destroy some of these ships. Alright, shoot at him, because he's right there. Let's just destroy this ship right here. Yeah, and this ship right here can be like a de decoy for these guys to follow them, so they can be out of my, my way. And look at this guy way over here. Hmm. Hey, and here's my fire ship. Hold on. Uh, anchor. Put him on fire. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put him on fire. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That'll get rid of him.
Come on, guys. Oi, what a mess. Okay. Gotta repair. Shoot at him. You're gonna repair. And hey, we're gonna open up your guns. Yeah, you can shoot at him. And why ain't you guys moving? Like, come on, move. Move. That's how you end up getting killed. Boy. My goodness. Now you get over to that ship there. Get on that ship. And you get on that ship right there. Alright, now you, again, you're supposed to be shooting at him. All right, now you, you're gonna turn. You're gonna turn a little bit. Hey, somebody! Oh, somebody just sunk. Whatever. And why? I don't know why these two ships haven't separated. So I'm gonna have to move this ship over here, so this little guy can get out of there. And you, we're just gonna turn you like that, so you can shoot at him, please. Boy, what a battle. Like I said, I'm going to be glad to be done with this battle. I'll tell you that. I mean, it, and we still don't have the win, like, as you can see. But, you know what I mean? Uh, we can do... Hey, look at... Yeah, somebody sunk over here. And we still got a lot of ships, but we're not going to worry about it right now. We're going to try to kill whoever is here. I just gotta remember all my first rate ships, I can at least be repairing them. We just gotta make sure we have the ships on angles so that way they can shoot at the enemy ships. Because I'm content with just, um, you know, shooting and killing them as opposed to capturing them. Like, I, I might want to try to get this guy later on, because he's a 144 gun ship. This is probably a victory class right here. Oh yeah, so I sunk enough where I can finish the battle. But you know me, I like to sometimes fight it out. Yeah, man, what a mess. I mean, like I said, this is a mess. I just got to make sure everybody is shooting at whoever they can shoot at. I know there's a whole bunch of enemy ships getting away at the moment, but... Um, like I said, I got to make sure everybody is shooting who they're supposed to be shooting. Oh, all right, let me just pause for a moment. <laughs> okay, you gotta, because, yeah, I can actually finish right now, but, um, of course, you know, greed sets in where you want more, so. Now, what can I do? Like, you need to at least get over here or, or just turn, just turn so you can shoot at him. And you're just trying to get away. So I don't know if it'd be wise to just send him this way. Cause yeah, cause you I'm just turning. All right, yeah. So it might be wiser to send him this way. Cause he's gonna try to come over here to take him. 
And then this ship is still in a position to shoot at enemy ships, so I'll just leave it be for now and repair. And now this ship turned, and, and we're trying to turn, like these two can come this way now. So let's go ahead and do that. We might try to get some of these ships if we can turn. Now what happened? Alright, so that ship sunk. Come on, Gale, shoot at him. Alright, yeah, so maybe I can anchor this guy right here. And that'll keep him right there. Yeah, maybe I can get him like this. And I can have this one anchor too to shoot him. You shoot. And then you shoot him. Okay, somebody else sunk. Who else? All right, so now that now you're going to shoot those guys, of course, and so are you if you can. We like to kill the lifeboats because we don't want them to make the other ships uh more uh staffed. Hey, and that one just blew up. All right. So come on, guys. Yeah, kill these guys off. Yeah, and he's going to have to go this way and he will he will then shoot them. Okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to develop a plan. Um, now notice these guys are coming that way. So maybe you can turn. And these two ships can shoot at that one. And they can repair. All right, and now you, yeah, okay, there. That's just what I thought would happen. Okay, so you, you, you're almost dead, but get going. And you just shoot him right there and repair. And soon this one will be destroyed in no time. All right, now I got to just evaluate what's going on. Okay, so now we got, oh, so he's coming, okay. So now you get over here. Alright, Kathy. No, Gail. Gail, it's your turn. Gail. Uh, Gail ain't going to be able to do that, but she can turn, turn. Kathy, you can come on down. Let's see. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. I'm Kathy's clown. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Kathy was my fourth girlfriend. Because it was Rhonda, Joanne, Shirley, and then Kathy. Yep. So she was my fourth girl. And Gail was from California. She was at Lemoore, California Naval Air Base. She was the Admiral's daughter, and I got to date her. Everybody else was afraid of her, except me. Okay, now you're gonna have to... You didn't turn like I wanted you to, and you just hurt my very own ship. So, Maria was a Portuguese girl. She was nice. I liked her. Black hair. Really white, white skin, because she was Portuguese. All right, come on, Gail. And Maria, let's go. Come on. Come on, the wind is coming with us. We can do this. All right, and meanwhile, we got this problem over here.
Yeah, I mean, I can't do everything. I can't watch everything, right? Okay, so let's try to f assess what is going on in this battle. Okay, so he's turn he moved into a position to hurt Joanne. So now Joanne has to go over here, and I think you need to at least get to here. And now, Gail, you're going to get to over here. And I think I'll pull Maria over here, too. I'll put anchors on them because I don't want them to just take off forever, you know? What else do we have going on in the battle? Oh, we got a bunch of ships over here. Oh, that's kind of weird, but okay. Like I said, I might not be able to get every ship anyway, and, and I am not might not try. I mean, just remember, I can finish at any time. You just had to kill whatever it was. What was it? Um, six ships. I mean, that's not much. I mean, I blew up a couple right off the bat that didn't even um, know. But anyways, sorry to be dragging this battle out. It's just that this is very... Very uh, complicated. So may I don't know. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. Why don't I have this ship try to get this one? So you need to get over here. I'm really trying to figure this out for a minute. All right, well, I guess, I guess. Okay, now we get ships over here. Oh, yeah, we're still trying to get this one. So let me, let me watch this one. Because this one has 895, so I, I don't know. Let me, let me see what this ship is. Oh, this is a victory class ship. And I need to get some so that way I can gain some rep for any ship that I actually do want. I'll have rep to buy the ship that I actually want as opposed to... So, I mean, I know in the beginning of this, I didn't mind blowing up some ships. Now, let's go ahead and try to get this guy right here and then you get over here. Like I said, at least with my first-rate ships, I should be able to repair. Unless they lose a mass. All right, um, you, you, I gotta, I gotta shut you off because you're hurting. You're gonna be hurting my ship. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and board this ship right here. You know, I mean, okay, I was just going to say, you know, I mean, like, they're, they're pretty side by side. Why can't they board, you know? Oh, my goodness. All right, like, there is apps. Hey, now, where are you going? Ed, Gail, Gail, you screwing up. Yeah, I think I told you that, right? Gail was the lady who came in in a bikini when I was working in the emergency room and the immunization clinic because they were like side by side. She came right into me and gave me a big hug and a kiss. And there's this big uh, captain female lady that was the head of the hospital that branch clinic that I was working in. And she saw that, but she knew that that was the Admiral's daughter. And she knew I was just standing there. I wasn't doing anything to grab her or do anything. It's just that she, you know, she, she was my girlfriend, so she came in 
this was in August, and she came in in, in a bikini, and everybody in the ER was looking at her <laughs> like crazy. But anyways, oh, yeah, that, that's just a funny story. Uh, but that's what Gail did to me when I was working in the ER in the immunization clinic. Because they were, they were like across the hall from each other. But anyways, that, that's a little story that I, I often like to tell. But anyways, okay. So now, yep, see, just as I predicted, they're going after the little ships, okay? So that is just plain um, whatever. Now, if that's the only guy over there, I don't really care about him. So that probably means we can go up here and see what the heck is going on. So let's go ahead and get over here, please. As a matter of fact, why don't you turn this way? You're supposed to be getting him. Maybe. Let's go. And you're going to get over here. And it's unfortunate if I'm going to lose some of these ships. Yeah, we just want to try to get these as best we can. Yeah, and these, you know, and I just noticed this, right? I came in here with nine ships, but um, they must have had some ally ships in here too that I wasn't aware of. Like, I, I didn't even pay attention to it. Sorry about that. And I got these guys just sitting here. But I don't know what to do with them. Just like these guys are just mellowing out. Okay, now let's see here. We got this guy. So we may get that ship to get out of here. Tell him just to get out of there. And are we going to need any... Are we going to have some problems here? Come on. All right, just turn this way then. Can't you turn that way? You got to be able to turn over here. I mean, you just got to. All right, then. I'm going to have you shoot at that ship right there. Yep, there we go. You shoot at him. And you just you just anchor. Okay, so Britannia is boarding. Yeah, cause yeah, cause you know I don't have a ship named Captain. I don't have a ship named that. Now I might Britannia might be mine. I'm uh, I can't remember if I kept her because the game gave me her. I'm not sure, but let's see. Let's go ahead and drop. Okay, you're wounded. You go in. I just got to separate these ships. Yeah, so like I said, these must be ally ships, I would think. Yeah, because my ships were first rates and second rates and two fire ships. So any ship that you see here that's other than not that, then th those are ally ships. So yeah, that, that is so funny. I started this battle and I didn't even, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm telling you guys I didn't even pay attention to all the ships. I thought they were all my nine ships, but, you know, it's just kind of, don't you think that's kind of funny? Okay, now this is pretty pathetic, but um, the wind keeps changing and I just want you to just get out of here. And we don't really, like, I'm not going to waste a ship to go after this little guy. He's not worth it to me. And we got to find where the rest of the ships are. Okay, so they're over here. Now, where's that one? Yeah, this is a ship I want. So let's go ahead and we got to tell other ships. Yeah, like these guys. Okay. 
Oh, but the wind, look at the wind. See, I'm not going to be able to do it. Look at the wind. How can I, all right, let me see. Let me see if we go that way. Let's see, and we'll put the, sh the guns on. Let me see if I can send some of those ships. Yeah, this 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 over here is pathetic. I mean, this ship is is basically surrounded, right? I mean, basically. Come on. Yeah, I'm sure glad these ain't my ships. I mean, geez, that that'd be very costly right there. <laughs> Just one of these masks to go down on a third rate or a second rate will cost you nine to ten thousand dollars to repair it. A mass. I mean, I think I had one 44 gun ship that cost me like fourteen thousand to re replace a mass. I mean, that was ridiculous. I mean, I don't think mass should cost that much money. I mean, if a, if a, I mean, I don't know, like, what, what's the cost of a 144 gun ship if you were to just outright buy it? Is it about 60,000? So you're telling me that three mass are 14,000 each? That would be the cost of the ship to begin with. So I mean that doesn't so it doesn't make any sense that uh, to repair one mass on a 144 gun ship you're going to spend like $14,000. Like that is just and that's even having 25% repair um you know uh in the as a career perk Yeah, so these ally ships totally suck. And like I said, I couldn't pay attention to this because I was doing other things in the battle. Now, look, Kalpatani, why don't you get over here too? If you can. And the, and the thing is, can this ship get away from, uh, you know, like, I might, you know, that, that, you know what? He's, he, that, that ship there is kind of like irritating me going after this little guy right here. I'm going to tell this ship, because the wind is this way anyway, so I'm going to tell this ship to get over after him. Because I just took this one over. This is a a victory class ship it's got 158 on so that'll be enough to take care of that ship now as far as uh, let's see what let's see what these guys are doing hey they're doing seven knots so yeah okay let's go ahead boys um repair Repair and let's go. Yeah, okay, so this situation here is kind of weird. Um, I, I don't know if it'd be better, like... Yeah, we're not even going to get to do what I wanted to do with this ship. So we're just going to turn it so he can shoot at this ship here. We'll just sink it. I mean, it's already sinking anyway. Um, like I said, I don't know. Like I said, if my ships can get to that uh, first rate 144 gun ship... Um, we'll we'll get that. I know I'll add that to my fleet, but then you know scaling's going to get out of hand, of of course, by doing that. But yeah, and this ship is sinking too. Why don't we just go ahead and try to board? 
Just for the heck of it, right? Oh yeah, and see this one's sunk. So you guys can go on that ship there, maybe. Or better yet. Wait, let, let's see if you guys can get on this ship. Right here, and then we'll turn this ship to over here, maybe. So you guys get on this ship here. Because he's going to try to board before he sinks. And even if this sh the enemy ship gets that one, it doesn't matter because, like I said, it's an ally ship, so I don't really care that much. If it was my ship, I'd be a little bit more concerned. But if he can wear this guy down a little bit before this guy gets here... Yeah, we're going to go a little bit faster now. Might as well. What a, what a mess. Come on. Get over there. Your job is to get right over there. Okay, now is it feasible to get... Where are these guys? Oh, they're over here. Oh, here he is. Come on, guys. Oh, so some ship just sunk. Yeah. Okay, so this, yeah. So both of these ships sunk. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, well, we'll have those guys get on the ships. Um, so Atlanta's getting out of here. Hey, and this guy here... Alright, why don't I just have this guy anchor, and then so this guy can get over here and protect him. That, that might work. All right. So that would be that little thing. So now I don't know. I mean, I'd really like to get the ship, but I don't know how to get here, to be honest. Guys, come on down this way. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't even know if these ships are going to make it. Yeah, uh, the the ally that was here, that lifeboat got destroyed by that the ship. Oh well, those are allies, so I'm not. 
you know, might be too concerned over it. But, okay, now look at this. We lost the front here. So that kind of sucked. Now this is an ally ship here, so... I cannot repair it. Uh, but Gale I can repair, but she doesn't really need need it. So yeah... Oh, well, they're trying to get over there. That's making this battle really... See how the wind is, though? I, I can just tell you that this is kind of a sucky battle. It's hard to make it entertaining for you. And I'm looking... Okay, so now he went over there. Notice... Notice how... Uh, he, was, he was parked here to shoot at him. But this ship came over here, so he went over here. Notice that. But it's okay. So now you can get going. And you are going to shoot at him. Alright, so we'll just watch this for a little while. Come on, why can't we shoot? He's right there. Do I have to get right up on him in order to shoot at him? So we're above the wave here or above the mound, so that's why we can't shoot at him. Now we can shoot at him. Alright, so, so this here is a default victory class ship. So it probably has, what, Bloomfields or Armstrongs? Yeah, he's determined to to do th this ship right here. Now, if I brought my ship over here, this guy would be sunk already. Oh, boy. All right, you two ships have got to at least separate, okay? We don't need collisions. All right, now where is... There we go, finally. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, now you two can safely go out. Thank you. Good job, Victory. Good job, yay. Got rid of that problem there. Now, now we don't have to worry about anything over here now. So what's the nearest ship right here? 20. Oh, it's just these guys. All right, come on. C can't you kill them? All right, Kathy... Yeah, we can't really... Maybe you can come down here. Gonna repair the ships. Yeah, I, I mean, I ought to just... Just probably end this. It's gonna, it's gonna be a really ridiculously long video. Because of the wind. And, I, and I'm trying to... to well, maybe we can, gosh, I don't even, maybe we can get over here. Let's see if, let's see if we can at least get over here to where we can try to shoot at them or something. Like, yeah, maybe we can, maybe we can try to get over here. I, I just, 
Let's go super fast. Yeah, so if he's shooting at me, then that means I should be able to shoot at him. So let's go ahead and do that. Matter of fact, you stop too and you shoot at him. I said stop. I said stop. Gosh. Alright. Oh, and he's back. Okay, he's backing up into us. So maybe you can go like this then. Okay, that's fine. You shoot at this guy right there. And again, why why do I give a command to shoot and the ship decides to go when I put an anchor on it? I mean, man, does, you don't know how much that annoys me in this game. It always does that. And I don't want to destroy this ship. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is the 144 gun ship. I mean, no, I didn't want to. Oh, my God, that just is... That just... That just defeats what I wanted to do. Okay, well, I guess there's not going to be a 144 gun ship in my fleet, so I don't have to worry about that type of scaling. But that kind of sucked. All right, over here. My goodness. I was just going to put him to canister, too. I was just about to do that. And that ship blew up. Man. Yep, I just can't believe that. So I'll just have to accept the fact that, you know, we destroyed the ships, but... Uh-oh. Rhonda might be in trouble. I mean, I know I got this on fast, but the battle's been long enough. Man, he's backing right up into us. Is there any more ships? Nope, just that one over there. So what we'll do is we'll have this ship turn. Got to keep repairing. All right, Gale, 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 drop out somebody. Claim this ship, claim it, claim it, claim it. Alright, well this ship ain't gonna last much longer. Now we'll kill off the lifeboats. We'll tell this ship to just get going. 
And we got one ship left. And can I get this ship over here? And that means Rhonda can start going this way with repairs. And Gale. Oh, this ship sunk. Darn it. Oh, well, get back on, Gale. Well, let's stop and then get on, Gale. Okay. Okay, now you. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm doing this too fast, too fast. Let's get back to, like, a little bit slower. Okay, well, that ship sunk, so I'm not going to get the rep for that either. So, as you can see, it'd be difficult to try to catch him, and, and the wind is pushing him towards us anyway. So it's a possibility of, if he gets close to us, we might be able to board him, but we're just going to shoot at him. And I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I didn't capture a lot of ships that are worth anything, and I'll just have to be happy with that. I mean, you know, it's a vic. I mean, like I said, you you just kill those. Uh, you destroy those. What was it? Six or eight? Six. Yeah, you just destroy those six ships, and you can get out of this battle. You do not have to mess around with it. But you know, like I said, um, I generally like to fight them. So I mean, I I like to. S I usually don't like to run in the battle unless it's really something that's just not worth it but this gives our ships uh, experience which is very costly too by the way It still shows uh, four enemy ships. I'll tell you, it takes forever to stop these ships. Yeah, see, it just knocked off the nose of this ship. Okay, so now why does it still show four enemy ships? Ah, oh, there's one right here. Oh, I thought my ship would have destroyed this one by now, and it just did. Okay, thank you. All right, let's repair. Okay, so now there's two over here. Oh no, that's just a lifeboat. Rhonda needs to repair. All right, so I'm, this is, um, I think the only ships that are left are this this ship and and I think lifeboats, right? That's what I think. So. 
I'm not gonna go after the light boat, so I'll just kill off this ship right here. But as you can see the way the wind is, right, it'd be hard for me to get a ship to go over here. I mean, I, maybe Rhonda could do it. I, I don't think so. Let's, let's see. Yeah, we might be able to get a little bit going. And that would mean I'd have to shut off these ships. But yeah, but I can't get, I can't get, um, no, there is no group. So yeah, that just, whatever momentum I had just got off because it thought it was waiting for another ship that hooked to it, like. Okay, um, anchor. Okay, that's it. All right, everybody just uh, kill the lifeboats. I won't go find the other lifeboat, uh, one that's way over there, but we will kill off these. And then I'll finish. Uh, yeah, this was a, yeah, like I said, this is, uh, you know, I, I hate saying that this ain't my favorite battle, but I mean, because you know in one of my videos I complained about a certain battle that I definitely don't like. But this one here, you seen the way I had to do this. It's not the best way, but this video is longer than it should have been. But I'm going to be done in a moment. So yeah, I'm done. I'm going to finish. There's only, there's only these two lifeboats, so we're just going to go ahead and finish. And that was uh, Battle of Cape St. Vincent, and as you can see, it looks like an even fight. So I got to bring in nine, so there were, um, it looks like it, there were five uh, ally ships, it looks like. And um, of course, uh, my two fire ships uh, I got rid of. And then it looks like two ally ships sunk. Or it was one of the ships that I ca captured that sunk, maybe. I don't know. But you can see they had 22 ships. They had 1474 guns, 10,368. 16 uh, sunk. Only four captured. So I only got four out of the, that. So that that's not good. I mean... I usually like to get way more ships, but it's it's strictly due to the wind in this battle. Like, tell me, how many of you people right now, if you're watching me talk about this, how many of you do agree with me about this battle? That the wind um, at the start is, is really messed up for us, you know. But, you know, that's just the way it is. I mean, you have to deal with it, and I dealt with it. I, I just complained a little bit, but... Yeah, I'm really disappointed that I, um, that this ship, uh, just when I was about to tell my ship to put a canister on, this guy blew up. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, out of this whole battle, I, I wanted this ship. You know what I mean? Like, that would have been my first 144 gun ship in this campaign. In my other campaign, uh, I'll just give you a brief. In my other campaign, all my ships are 144 gun ships, so the game scaled to the 144. Like once you get it, you know it's a race. And I'm telling you, and you only need you need um, 10 ships for the last two battles. Okay, I think you just need 10 ships. So you only want to have 10 144 gun ships. Well, I had 12, so I had to sell some off. But I mean. And I think there's one battle that you do that you need 11 ships. But you just need to have 10 ships for the last two battles in this campaign. So um, when you get to that point, if you do have all 144 gun ships, you only want 10 of them and to do the last two battles. But anyways, that's the only thing I'm going to say about it. So in this campaign that I'm showing you guys, 
I don't have a 144 gun chip and I, and I failed to get it here because it blew up. So, but anyways, the goals, like I said, is just destroy six and you're done. Now, uh, these are the fire ship guys. And, and because we didn't do a lot of meleeing, notice we didn't lose officers. So these three got promoted. That's interesting. So I did get a 90 gunship. I did get a 112 gunship. And I got a 30 and a 52. And we got 13,000 of these Spanish guns. So, all right. Well, but this was very long. I got to just get out of this here. All right. Well, I think we, we get three prick points. Let's just take a look and see. It costs 92. See how a... Do you see how these repair kits right here? Uh, both of these together. And look, I only have to repair 92 bucks because I didn't lose a mass. And look at Shirley didn't even get hurt. Like, she repaired herself. And so did Kathy. She pretty much repaired herself. And Gail almost did. I mean, that that's not bad. I mean, really. So I, I, I'm a definite believer of, of using these. Like, these are the four upgrades that I like. Aerodynamic sails. Structure repair kit. Sail repair kit. And a boarding kit. So I think all my first rate ships, as you can see, the guns that I have on here. And like I said, I go in small caliber so I can have the weight and I can get troops on. Yeah, because the biggest gun here is just a 12 pounder. 12 pounder. Well, this one I put a 24. This one at 18. Oh, and this one still has the default guns. So yeah, so check this out. The Victory class ships have these bloom fields. Okay, and, and I did I did have a kit on this ship here, so I can repair it. And I did have it on the second rates. Okay. So I guess what I got confused in that battle was those ally ships. Because I, I don't think I'd put these on the third rate ships. Okay, so. Okay, so I, uh, as you can see here, from the other battle, I had two of these uh, victory class ships. I just got another one along with these guys here. So, well, we'll get the rep. Sold off the prisoners. Oh, and look, they gave us the HMS Victory class. They gave us three career points. So I already have something, uh, like, I don't have any over here, so I'm going to dump the three in here to start getting some rep. All right, so what I think I will do is I will probably see which of these first rates 
All right, like this one is not even damaged, so we'll add that one. And between these two, uh, this one, no, it's this one here that has this. So this, uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, not bad. All right, so I got two of these guys up and run, not up and running, but I got them. I'm just gonna, like I said, I, I don't want to have this video go for on forever, so we're just gonna take a quick look at our ships, make sure we have officers. Oh, now this guy's got a 70. Only an 18, a 26, and a 24. Okay, so uh, we don't have any more officers, and that's just the bare minimum of what I got, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and um, sell these. Okay, and I think I'll just go ahead and um, keep that one for now. All right, so what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to go ahead and do uh, these here. Okay, so we sunk the two ships, got 30,000 and 18 are up. Got 18,000 and 18 are up, and we sunk the ship. New pages of glory were added in the history of the Royal Navy. Despite being outnumbered in both men and guns, Jeffrey Morris defeated the Spanish fleet near Cape St. Vincent, Portugal, nearly clearly... The tide is already turning back in our favor. Now that we have sent our best naval officer to the deal with the with the situation. And now uh, on February 23rd, 1798, Bonaparte recommends to the directory the abandonment of the invasion of England in favor of an invasion of Egypt. His plan is later accepted, leading to a shift towards the Mediterranean uh, theater. Now we get 50 plus ship repair costs. Now is that a demodifier? Yeah, that's a demodifier. So now it's going to cost us yeah, so that means if I have to repair a ship that costs 10000 it's now going to cost me 20000 to repair it. Right? Or is it... No. 50%. No, 100% would be... So it would cost me 20... 20 I mean, yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm, my mathematics is a little out of whack right now. Yeah, I just played a log battle, but like my brain is a little fried at the moment. But you can tell me how that is. I mean, look at that. That's 50% more. And if I go over here, yeah, matter of fact, and I didn't even, I could have put my three points here and could have got 25% off that. So yeah, instead I put them over here. Oh, well. What can you say? Live and learn, right?
Well, at least my ships didn't get badly damaged, but if they lost a mass, that would have been really bad. All right, and I added that last 12th ship right there. All right, so the next battle is the Battle of the Nile. You just need 10 ships. So this is the one where... Let me go back to it for just a moment. Yeah, this is the one... This is the one where if I do it correctly, these ships aligned here. And your ships will be over here. And what, I, what I'm going to do, and I'm telling you ahead of time, is I'm going to prepare at least one to two fire ships. And I'm just going to come along here like this. And then come this way with the wind and knock out three ships. Now I might try to bring a second fire ship to come on the inside to maybe knock out three more ships. Like I haven't done that. Like I have done it where I take a third rate because the third rate, if you use a fifth rate, he can only knock out two ships. But a third rate can go the distance of three parked ships. Like... I'm just telling you this ahead of time. So I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna do a harbor because uh you see my it's gonna be all the just uh, what I've done before. It's gonna be just getting all my first rate ships and then I'm gonna make I don't know if I can buy a third rate. Yeah, I can buy a third rate right here. So maybe I'll buy a third rate. Because if you look at here, right, I have one, two, three, four, five first rates, six, seven, eight, and then I have uh, nine and ten of 90 gun ships, and then 11. So so I, I haven't decided but this video is way too long right now so i'm just going to end it but what i'm what i'm going to say is i'll have to decide if i make the 90 gun ship a fire ship or not put the crews on these three ships onto these three ships so that way i'll have a fleet of all victory class ships either sell these or make a fire ship from them or sell one of them and then buy a, a, an ardent like I, I'll have to decide that I don't know which is gonna work better so I am gonna go ahead and save right here as I always do And I'm going to wish that everybody out there is having a great day, a great afternoon, or a great evening. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Take care of yourself. God bless you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos. And of course, we don't leave out amigas.